2016 and 2018, Grifo has spent over $300 million in projects that have been completed. There is another $388 million spent on ongoing projects. And you all know how projects go. You start spending from day one till the project is completed. And the, 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 the spending increases as the project is being executed further. So over $688 million we've put in this business. One is the coastal 330 kV backbone project. This line spans from Abwazi in the west to the Ghana-Togo border, the blue line that you see. Why did we do this project? You would know that in Ghana there are two main centers for power generation. The west, where gas has been found, and also in the Tema Enclave, where we can also connect gas from the Nigerian gas pipeline. So most generators go to these centers. But if we do not have a line with available capacity, then we cannot move power from one, from the west to the east or vice versa. So it became important that we construct this line so that we can evacuate power and thereby send power all along into the hinterlands of Ghana. Again, this line makes it able for us to export power to our neighboring countries when available. Remember that electricity has now become a commodity just like cocoa, gold, oil, and you can make money as a country from exporting your surplus energy. But before you can export it, you need to have that transmission capacity to do it. This project cost us $133 million and was completed in 2017. Another project that we've completed is what we call the Tumu Hanwa project. Um, this map, we just took a shot of it for northern sector. Now, before this project was completed, power from the south, as you know, all our generators are in the south, travel all the way to Techiman, and after Techiman, they take a route either in the eastern corridor up here or the west from this side up. There was no connection between these two transmission corridors. Now, the transmission business is such that if you create loops within the country, it makes it possible to send power in either direction. Since we completed this uh, um, section of the line, it's possible when there is a problem somewhere along the line before Techiman, our Techiman, power can be rerouted through to move through Wa to move Borga, and then back to Tamale. But when we didn't have that, if there's a problem at Techiman, everywhere up north goes off until we fix the problem. So this line is a very important one, which has uh, um, closed the loop and then uh, made power reliability up north much better. 